Top 10 Underrated Metal Slug Clones That run -imp Gun Fans Just Cannot Miss Explored Get ready to blast your way through hordes of enemies in these action-packed run-and-gun games inspired by the legendary Metal Slug series. If you love mowing down aliens, soldiers, and zombies with heavy weaponry, then strap in for an explosive ride. From the wacky alien hijinks of Alien Hominid to the gory gangster battles of Guns Gore and Cannoli, each entry on this list will immerse you in frantic 2D shoot-'em-up mayhem. You'll dodge a relentless onslaught of bullets while unleashing a devastating arsenal of firearms, grenades, and melee attacks on the battlefield. Whether you're a grizzled metal slug veteran or new to the genre, these clones deliver the same addictive gameplay loop of shooting, jumping, and causing absolute carnage that made Metal Slug a quarter-munching classic. So lock and load as we highlight the best and brightest games that pay homage to SNK's iconic franchise. It's time to get blasting. But before we start, if you like our content, please show us some love and subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us. Hardcore Uprising, while not bearing the Contra name, is an undeniable spiritual successor to the legendary Contra series. Developed by Arc System Works, the game carries the torch of the classic run-and-gun genre, reminiscent of the iconic Metal Slug series, but with a distinct Contra essence. The game's aesthetic is a standout feature, blending a modern anime style with the retro arcade feel of classic shooters. It's a visual treat with detailed environments and character designs that pop off the screen. The action is fast-paced and relentless, offering a challenge that will appeal to both hardcore and casual players alike. Hardcore Uprising consists of two modes, Arcade and Rising. Arcade mode is a throwback to the punishing difficulty of 8- and 16-bit era games, demanding precision and quick reflexes. Rising mode, on the other hand, allows for character upgrades and a more gradual difficulty curve, making it more accessible to newcomers. The game's control mechanics are tight and responsive, essential for the split-second decisions required in intense firefights. Weapon power-ups add variety and strategy to the gameplay, allowing players to tackle challenges in different ways. In summary, Hardcore Uprising successfully captures the essence of classic side-scrolling shooters while injecting its own unique flair. Its homage to games like Contra and Metal Slug is evident in its design and gameplay, making it a must-play for fans of the genre. The game strikes a fine balance between challenging and rewarding, making it a standout title in the modern run-and-gun landscape. Rapid Reload Rapid Reload, known as Gunner's Heaven in Japan, is a side-scrolling run-and-gun video game that often draws comparisons to the iconic Metal Slug series. Released for the PlayStation, Rapid Reload captures the essence of classic arcade shooters with its fast-paced action and visually engaging style. The game's visual presentation is a standout feature, reminiscent of the detailed and vibrant aesthetics found in Metal Slug. Characters and environments are rendered with a level of detail and animation quality that brings the game's world to life. The art style, combining anime influences with a touch of Western comic book flair, creates a unique and memorable visual experience. Gameplay-wise, Rapid Reload delivers an adrenaline-pumping experience. Players navigate through various levels, each filled with a barrage of enemies and obstacles. The game's arsenal of weapons adds to the excitement, allowing players to blast their way through challenges with satisfying firepower. The game's difficulty is well-balanced, offering a challenging yet rewarding experience reminiscent of the era's classic shooters. One of the game's unique features is its weapon upgrade system. Unlike Metal Slug, where weapon power-ups are temporary, Rapid Reload allows players to upgrade their weapons permanently, adding a strategic layer to the gameplay. This system encourages players to experiment with different weapons and find their preferred playstyle. The game's unique blend of Eastern and Western art styles, combined with its engaging gameplay mechanics, ensures that Rapid Reload stands out as a distinctive and enjoyable experience in the genre. Alien Hominid Alien Hominid, a game that harkens back to the golden era of side-scrolling shooters, stands out as a modern classic with its distinct style and challenging gameplay. Its latest iteration, Alien Hominid Invasion, has garnered attention for its engaging multiplayer experience and heightened difficulty, a nod to its roots while embracing contemporary gaming trends. The game's artistic direction is a significant part of its charm. Alien Hominid's visuals are characterized by a vibrant, cartoonish art style that is both eye-catching and unique. This aesthetic, combined with fluid animations and quirky character designs, creates a visual experience that is both nostalgic and fresh. Gameplay in Alien Hominid is intense and unforgiving. 
Players navigate through levels filled with a plethora of enemies and obstacles, requiring quick reflexes and strategic thinking. The game's difficulty is notable, presenting a challenge that will satisfy fans of hardcore side-scrollers. A key aspect of Alien Hominid Invasion is its multiplayer mode, which allows up to three friends to join the fray. This cooperative element adds a new dimension to the gameplay, making it a more social and dynamic experience. The game's level design and enemy placement are randomized, ensuring that each playthrough feels fresh and unpredictable. Alien Hominid Invasion is a worthy successor to its predecessors, capturing the essence of classic run-and-gun games while incorporating modern gaming elements. Its challenging gameplay, distinctive art style, and engaging multiplayer mode make it a standout title for both fans of the genre and newcomers alike. Blazing Chrome Blazing Chrome, a game that masterfully pays homage to the golden age of run-and-gun shooters, particularly the Metal Slug and Contra series, stands as a shining example of retro gaming done right in the modern era. This game is a love letter to the classics, capturing the essence of what made those games so beloved while injecting its own unique flair. Visually, Blazing Chrome is a throwback to the 16-bit era, with pixel art that is both nostalgic and impressively detailed. The game's environments and character spirits are reminiscent of Metal Slug's iconic style, featuring vibrant colors and fluid animations that bring each level to life. The attention to detail in the game's visual design is a testament to the developer's dedication to capturing the spirit of the genre. Gameplay-wise, Blazing Chrome offers an exhilarating and challenging experience. Players navigate through various levels, each packed with relentless enemy forces and daunting bosses. The game's difficulty is reminiscent of the era it emulates, demanding precision and quick reflexes from players. This challenging nature is not just a nod to the past, but also a core part of the game's appeal, offering a satisfyingly tough experience. The arsenal of weapons available in Blazing Chrome adds to the game's depth allowing players to tackle obstacles in different ways. Each weapon feels distinct and impacts the gameplay significantly, adding a layer of strategy to the run-and-gun action. Blazing Chrome is a standout title for fans of the run-and-gun genre and a worthy successor to the games it draws inspiration from. Its combination of retro aesthetics, challenging gameplay, and a diverse array of weapons makes it a must-play for anyone yearning for the days of classic arcade shooters. Gunstar Heroes Gunstar Heroes, a quintessential run-and-gun title, stands as a testament to the genre's golden era. Released in 1993, it has since become a hallmark of action-packed gameplay and vibrant visual storytelling, reminiscent of the iconic Metal Slug series. The game's visual flair is a standout feature, with its rich, colorful pixel art that breathes life into every frame. This aesthetic, reminiscent of Metal Slug's charm, creates a nostalgic yet fresh ambiance. The fluid animations add to the game's dynamic nature, making every movement and action feel impactful. The gameplay in Gunstar Heroes is both exhilarating and challenging, echoing the frenetic pace of Metal Slug. Players navigate through diverse levels, each presenting a unique blend of shooting, platforming, and puzzle solving. The game's innovative weapon system, allowing for the combination of different gun types, adds a layer of strategic depth. This feature not only enhances replayability, but also invites players to experiment with various playstyles. Gunstar Heroes is more than just a game. It's a vibrant journey through a world where action and strategy collide. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to blend intense gameplay with an art style that pays homage to the classics, making it a timeless piece in the run-and-gun genre. Gun Force 2, often regarded as a precursor to the renowned Metal Slug series, shares several key elements with its more famous successor. The game's visual style, characterized by detailed and vibrant sprite work, bears a striking resemblance to Metal Slug's iconic aesthetic. This similarity is not coincidental, as many of the developers who worked on Gun Force 2 later joined SNK and contributed to the creation of Metal Slug. The gameplay mechanics of Gun Force 2 also foreshadow what would become staples in Metal Slug. The fast-paced, side-scrolling action, replete with a plethora of enemies and destructible environments, is very much in line with the chaotic and engaging combat that Metal Slug is known for. Additionally, the variety of weapons and vehicles available in Gun Force 2, including mechs and aircraft, prefigures the diverse arsenal and vehicular combat that are hallmarks of the Metal Slug series. 
In essence, Gun Force 2 can be seen as a foundational step towards the development of Metal Slug, sharing its DNA in both visual flair and gameplay dynamism. The game serves as a fascinating glimpse into the early ideas and designs that would later be refined and popularized in one of the most beloved run-and-gun franchises. Demon Front At first glance, Demon Front appears to be an unabashed metal slug clone, from its run and gun shooting action to its cartoonish pixel art style. Yet despite heavily borrowing from Metal Slug's distinctive aesthetic and gameplay formula, Demon Front manages to be an engaging arcade shooter in its own right. With four playable characters, large branching stages, and a combo scoring system, Demon Front takes the Metal Slug template and expands on it in a few key ways. The addition of AI pet companions is the biggest differentiation, adding a layer of strategy as you manage their shield and attack abilities. These elemental pets replace Metal Slug's bomb function, letting you trigger abilities like a protective ice shield or fiery phoenix attack. Demon Front's presentation, while highly derivative, is excellently executed, featuring fluid 60fps animation and vibrant, detailed pixel art. The visuals have a saturated, almost candy-like color palette that gives it a cheerful Saturday morning cartoon vibe compared to Metal Slug's grittier military theme. While it may lack some of Metal Slug's vehicle variety and polish, the core run and gun gameplay is responsive and satisfying. Mowing down waves of enemies, rescuing prisoners, piloting mechs, and battling screen-filling bosses captures the genre's addictive action, if not matching the diversity of Metal Slug's level design. Ultimately, Demon Front wears its inspiration on its sleeve, yet it's a competently crafted and content-rich homage, executed with graphical prowess and tight gameplay. Demon Front succeeds at replicating the satisfying blasting action that makes Metal Slug so replayable, while putting its own spin on the formula. It may be derivative, but Demon Front is a polished and enjoyable arcade quarter muncher that delivers a fun sci-fi shooting romp for fans of Metal Slug and the run-and-gun genre. Cyber Lip Cyber Lip is a side-scrolling run and gun shooter that wears its Contra and Metal Slug influence proudly. With humanoid heroes blasting robots through futuristic corridors, it follows the Contra template closely. Yet while highly derivative, Cyber Lip is competently crafted and provides satisfying sci-fi shooting action. The controls are responsive, with unlimited use weapons like the spread shot and laser. However, the lack of diagonal aiming makes attacking enemies above and below frustrating. The presentation also impresses, with detailed sci-fi environments and fluid character animations. Though the level design lacks variety, sticking to repetitive mechanical bases and sewers, boss battles provide highlights, with massive robots and alien creatures, power-ups like temporary invincibility add strategy when used well. While it lacks innovations, Cyberlip nails the core run and gun gameplay. Mowing down swarms of enemies and dodging attacks is challenging but addictive. However, the difficulty spikes wildly between levels, demanding memorization. Ultimately, Cyberlip fails to match the polish and creativity of its inspiration, but it provides a solid, if unexceptional, side-scrolling shooter experience. Fans of Contra looking to scratch their run-and-gun itch could do far worse than Cyber Lip's competent take on the formula. Hit the bricks, punk! I'll take it from here! Guns, Gore, and Cannoli. This game is an unapologetic pastiche of mafia and zombie tropes, mashed together into a side scrolling shooter. You play as Vinny Cannoli, a mob enforcer battling zombies overrunning the city with an arsenal of guns. Despite the silly premise, Guns, Gore, and Cannoli executes the run and gun formula competently. The controls are responsive, and weapons like the shotgun and Tommy gun feel meaty to blast zombies with. Gore is laid on thick, with zombies gorely dismembered and levels littered with bodies. While derivative, the Prohibition era pixel art style is well done with detailed animations. However, the level design is repetitive and lacks variety beyond the urban streets. While the gameplay loop of blasting through waves of the undead is mindless, it's undeniably addictive in short bursts. There's ample weapons to unlock and upgrade, providing a sense of progression. But the difficulty spikes wildly at times, demanding rote memorization. Overall, Guns, Gore, and Cannoli doesn't reinvent the wheel but provides plenty of arcade shooting action for fans of the genre. It's an entertaining, if unexceptional, zombie-blasting romp that leans into its grindhouse vibe with bloody gusto. In summary, Guns, Gore and Cannoli borrows Metal Slug's core run and gun-shooting gameplay, but adapts it into a Prohibition-era zombie setting. It lacks some of Metal Slug's vehicle and level diversity, but provides plenty of side-scrolling shooting action in a distinct Mafia-themed package.
Intrusion 2 developed by the talented Alexei Abramenko, is a shining example of how indie games can pay homage to classic titles while forging their own identity. This game, in particular, draws clear inspiration from the legendary Metal Slug series, evident in its side-scrolling shooter mechanics and the emphasis on over-the-top action. The game picks up from its predecessor, Intrusion, continuing the story of a red scarf-wearing protagonist who lands on a planet occupied by a hostile military corporation. The narrative, although minimal, sets the stage for an action-packed journey. The lack of a detailed storyline doesn't detract from the game. Instead, it allows the gameplay to shine. One of the game's most notable features is its weapon system. The Holy Machine Gun, introduced early in the game, becomes a vital tool for players. It offers a perfect balance of firepower, rate of fire, and ammo availability, making it an indispensable weapon throughout the adventure. The starting pistol, while weaker, can be dual-wielded, adding a strategic layer to the combat. Intrusion 2's level design is a significant highlight. Unlike traditional side-scrollers where progress is typically made by moving right, Intrusion 2 encourages exploration. For instance, moving left at the beginning of the game reveals hidden suicide bomber robots and spawns new weapons, rewarding players for their curiosity. The game's physics add a layer of depth and realism to the combat. Enemies and objects in the environment react dynamically to player actions, creating a more immersive and interactive experience. This physics-based approach extends to the game's impressive boss fights, which are both challenging and visually spectacular. Intrusion 2's visual and audio design complements its gameplay excellently. The graphics, while simple, are effective in creating a distinct and engaging world. The soundtrack and sound effects enhance the action, adding to the game's overall intensity. While Intrusion 2 stands as a unique and innovative title in its own right, its homage to the Metal Slug series is clear and respectfully executed. It captures the essence of what made Metal Slug a beloved franchise, such as its intense action and engaging gameplay, and combines it with modern game mechanics and physics. This blend creates a fresh experience that both honors its roots and offers something new to the genre. And that's a wrap for this episode. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. If you are still watching this video, you are truly awesome and we appreciate your time and support. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our awesome community. We wish you all the best and hope you stay safe and happy. Until next time, bye for now.